Yeah, what we have here is another bomber, bomber day. Ah! Oh, shit. Whoa! Oh, I might have hurt my ankle there. Who's going to the pool hole? He did it! Oh my god, he passed me! I knew this was a race! It's early season. We don't want to get hurt. We found a road that nobody's been on yet, so we're gonna make some crazy eights. Yep. All right. Let's go make some eights. Here we go. snow is not flying around eh. so my one option now is to remove this guy you guys haven't seen this in previous videos this year that comes off just like that now air can flow through here enhancing my cooling really good example why you want to have lots of pairs of gloves see the steam coming off my bike over there on Andrews slash swags bike lots of steam coming off every time you stop your gloves get wet by uh, hour two it's nice to switch by hour four it's nice to switch again lots of gloves so happy so swag is there anything on your bike that's just kind of extra bling that you wouldn't that you could do without no she's a functional beast Everything on here has been well thought out as we went through this. Socks, you need them. Some luggage to get that weight off your back. Uh, hand guards, light, bark lamp with temp 
management. Set of giant loop Mojave bags in the back. Those are bomber for getting all kinds of weight out of your backpack. Big fat pegs for the winter. Nice skid plate, rad guards. Huge tank, so you don't have to keep filling up throughout the day. What's that plug in there? This guy is if the battery quits halfway through the day, we can plug in a battery pack to that, hit the go button, and nine times out of 10 it works. Nice, and moving back, it's a rack. Got a tunnel rack. Got tunnel a rack with giant loop revel soak bag on the back there. All of our tools, all the heavy stuff that I don't want to have in my backpack, we have it back there. And, and rad shut off valve. And the right shut off valve on the other One side. One of my favorites. Heated yeah. handlebars, if you didn't say that. Yeah, all this stuff, highly functional, and we couldn't deal without it. Like, we, we wouldn't be out here without anything on right. these bikes. Oh, blanket, engine blanket. Yeah. You might have said that. Right. That's it, folks. Just everything. Oh, I'm falling. <laughs> Helmet in the what snow. What a loser. <laughs> there on this side deal. I couldn't talk. You can see the grass here. Not really deep enough for whoa I just slid out. This is fun but yeah but I'm getting sucked down the hill too much. Not, not super smart turn around and play our way out. I took a bit of a funny turn. I'm in some steep stuff and I'm just gonna gently work myself through it here and then I'll I'll be up to see ya. I'll be okay. Okay, I'm gonna head back up into the cup box and I'm close here, maybe I'll be able to hear you. Okay. Okay, so this has got a little steeper than I thought. I'm gonna wipe this camera. And we're kind of stuffed in on that tree. And what else is going on here on a Saturday? Uh, I think, I think I'm still okay, guys. Patience. Okay, I'm looking pretty good. go straight and left in the PT Loser and like some of the other stuff. I, I think we should just stay in the trees more. Let's go to PT Loser. PT Loser it is. And that thing's loud. I'm getting old. <laughs> Not as old as Scott. <laughs> Woo! That was a party. Jackie. 
just went straight. This is how a ski track falls. Yeah. What? <laughs> Get a 180 turn. for like five seconds there. I don't normally like riding in the burn that much. It's always kind of icy and packed down a bit. Skied up. Nobody's been here. Conditions are perfect. There's plenty of snow. You can go anywhere. And you got massive lines of sight. Oh, it's awesome. So, we got an untouched burn. We got great line of sight. Excellent snow. video. This is what we call social distancing at its finest. Take that coronavirus. So 138, not really building the kind of temperature I want. Rad is shut off on the other side. So we're gonna slap on our long johns just like this. Just like that. And now we're gonna build some heat. And this little girl's gonna pull like a champ. That's all it takes, guys. Piece of cake. Yep. Let's go. Let's do it. I'm gonna try and get some really nice shots of swag here. Let's see some moves. Come on. It's all about him right now. about 
the checklist that we have to make sure when we're out here we have everything we need I used the checklist this morning I packed everything we're on top of the world right now and we don't have our inReach because I'm dumb and he forgot his spot <laughs> my inReach is in the truck his spot is at home shame to top it off I'm out exposed in the wind and I think I've got ice in this button. It won't work. I got nothing. The bike is dead. Good. Oh, time to call Scotty. Hey, Scott. Um, I think I've got ice in my starter switch. My bike is dead. Uh oh. So we checked the connection back here because that has disabled my bike before. It's all balled up with ice and doesn't seem to be doing anything. So now we're gonna come down here and try to boost this bike off of the starter. Which we've never successfully done. But we've been told it works. But it doesn't. No. It makes it go beep. Yeah. Allowed to do this. Yeah. I wonder. I got the pull start here. Uh, I wonder if that's gonna work. That might work. You think? Well, it'll work. We're even on a nice place to do a pull start. That's right. You pull start you and then you're not allowed to turn off your bike yeah, until we get back to the truck. Right. Okay. okay, I'm all lined up to give Swag a bump start here. Now here's something we just noticed. Since we put on these skid plates, which we really like, we can no longer attach this guy around the frame, which was really good. Now we gotta go down to the spindle, which is bad. Not good. It's gonna yank the steering on him and it's not as good. So what we're gonna do is probably drill some holes in there not now, but back home, drill holes, get a big piece of rope through there, and that'll just be hanging out there in case we have to tow one of our bikes again. So I'll admit this is probably my least favorite part of snow biking, is towing. It sucks. <laughs> Let's hope it's just a good bomb start. What do you guys think? Second gear, third gear, second? I'm just gonna try second. But he'll be filming for sure, because if anyone's gonna wipe out, well, Gonna be either him or me. All right, bump start. Take one. Okay. Yeah. Simple jumper cable, battery, down to starter nut. Yeah. And hopefully we're good to go. Let's see what happens. Yeah, baby. That's why you pack your stuff to the backcountry guys. <laughs> so when you're dumb dumbs like us. Uh, okay. Wow. Okay, now we gotta put this all together. Oh, that's what I was afraid of. <laughs> Now this works. You don't kill the battery. We can cycle it. Good. Well, it's gonna have a magic touch. It's in neutral. What the? It just jumped by itself into gear. Okay, try it now. Okay, hang on. There's tools flying everywhere. Okay.
so we are rolling again and uh, we're gonna head to the truck I think we need to get some silicone into our connections things are a little frozen and shitty let's rock and roll Scotty Chisholm one of these guys and you don't want to stop because that's gonna suck the best advice I can give you is put all your weight back and pin it and just go <laughs> hope for the best <laughs> what you got in there the tool roll Bunker, splint. splint emergency blankets extra clothes prom dress all the essentials a truly stunning day amazing snow amazing weather your bikes i can't say that nope <laughs> that was truly another bomber bomber day all right yeah yeah yeah